UN TV aired in full both of the Senate hearings last Monday and earlier today on the National Vaccination Program as part of our public service advocacy, being the nation's public service channel. Here are the highlights in today's top stories. Days after President Duterte said that the government won't meddle with the plans of local government units for COVID-19 vaccine purchase, officials from the National Action Plan Against COVID-19 underscored the role of tripartite agreements with the government in giving way for the LGUs and the private sector. In the resumption of the Senate Committee of the Whole hearing today, Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion explains that pharmaceutical companies, particularly AstraZeneca, prefer to sell the vaccines to national governments due to its zero-profit program. Since all countries, all governments of every country purchase the vaccines, so AstraZeneca will never sell those vaccines directly to the private sector if we insisted they would have aborted the plan. So it was a great effort no, on the part of uh, the national government to be more inclusive and in allowing the private sector and LGUs to take on and purchase these vaccines. Without the tripartite agreement, it will not happen. Yesterday, the government, together with the private sector, secured 17 million doses from AstraZeneca through a tripartite agreement. 50% of the supply will be donated to the national government, while the other half will be for the employees of the private sector. Aside from AstraZeneca, vaccine czar Secretary Cardito Galvez Jr. said they are now discussing the possible tripartite agreements with Novavax and Moderna. Private firms as well as the LGUs will still have to adhere with the prioritization of the Department of Health in the inoculation, starting with frontliners and those who belong to the vulnerable sector. It was said to us by AstraZeneca under the privileged access that our families cannot be part of it. Yung mga may-ari hindi pwede. Yung mga executives namin hindi pwede. Yung pwede lang dito yung mga frontliners, merchandisers, security guards, lahat yan. Mm. However, Senator Cynthia Villar wants the companies to decide on their, on their own in distributing the vaccines to their employees. So, dapat bigyan na ng right yung mga companies to buy directly. Kasi pag ganito, pakikialam pa rin ng DOH kung sino bibigyan ng kumpanya. Hindi mo naman pwede sabihin na tindera mo lang ang bibigyan mo. Hindi mo bibigyan yung mga manager mo. Without the managers, who will manage the tindera? And who will manage the accounting? This is impractical. According to Secretary Galvez, it is included in the agreement the equitable access of the vaccines and that vaccine manufacturers are also bound to follow the prioritization guidelines set by the World Health Organization. The vaccine czar further explained that once the vaccines arrived in the country, the Department of Health will receive the vaccines first for logistical reasons. It will then undergo a 15-day inspection to ensure the ordered supply. The vaccine supply that were procured by local government units will be given to them in full. Yung doses na binila para sa kanilang constituent will be given to them and even the government will add it up the procurement of the government so that we can have some sort of 70% herd immunity for, for the certain geographical area. Senate President Pro Tempore Ralph Recto believes the LGUs and the private sector have seen the supposed slow action of the government in the procurement of the vaccines. Based on the computation provided by Senator Panfilo Lacson, 75 million doses of vaccines have been secured by this initiative at no cost to the government. 44 million doses will be given by COVAX facility for free, 14 million doses from those secured by the LGUs and 17 million doses from the private sector. 
According to Senator Lacson, this will be able to vaccinate 37.5 million out of the 70 million Filipinos that the government target to inoculate this year. It will leave the government with 32 million Filipinos from its target this 2021. However, officials say all of this will depend on the stability of global supply and the prices of vaccines. So, sapat yung budget natin na 82.5. That is the point. Sobra pa. The reason why the private sector went in and the LGU went in is because Tingin nila ng national government, mabagal masyado. Senate Majority Leader Miguel Zubiri made a motion to conduct an executive session with the officials of Task Force Against COVID-19 to know other details on the procurement such as the prices of the vaccines.